Hey, welcome to Brick Hub. Th with the Justice League movie coming out today, I figured now was a good time as ever to do a Justice League minifig collection video. This is just a small collection of uh, some Justice League members that I have in my collection. So let's get started. So let's start this video off with Superman, one of the founding members of the Justice League and one member of the Trinity. This Superman was available in the Brainiac Attacks Lego set. Now let's take a look at his alternate expression. There's his backside with uh, some of his back muscles showing and you can see that he has a more angry expression with his heat vision. Here is Batman. This is the new 52 version of Batman. This has been available in pretty much every new Batman set that isn't based on the movies. But this one in particular I believe was from the Deathstroke Harbor Pursuit. Here's a better look at his backside and his alternate expression. You can also remove his mask and see that there's a white band with eyes that are lower than the standard minifigure to accommodate the mask's eye openings. And for the final member of the Trinity, here's Wonder Woman. She comes with a lasso and she's available in uh, the Lex Luthor uh, power suit set as well as the Lego Dimensions set. An excellent minifigure. Here is a look at her alternate expression as well as her back now that it's not covered up by her hair. This is Aquaman, another founding member of the Justice League. And this is probably gonna take you guys by surprise, but he's actually tied for one of my favorite superheroes of all time. I think he's probably one of the most underrated superheroes. Here's a better look at his alternate expression. It's a little bit angrier than before. This is Martian Manhunter, the often or now forgotten founding member of the Justice League. Um, this uh, one was from the Brainiac attack set, and uh, I believe this is the only version of his pre-52 Martian Manhunter. Although the uh, collar of his cape covers up his the back of his head pretty well, they did not print an alternate expression, but there is some back printing under the cape. Here is Hal Jordan, aka the Green Lantern. He is the sixth founding member of the Justice League. Um, all around great minifigure. I wish we got more Green Lanterns, but let's take a look at that alternate expression. His alternate expression is a little bit more stern. This minifigure was found in the Green Lantern vs. Sinestro set. And for the final founding member of the Justice League, this is the Flash. He's also one of my favorite superheroes of all time, and I love that excellent headpiece mold. Um, great printing all around. This is his first expression beneath the mask. It's kind of smiling. And on the other side, he's a little bit angrier. Here is Carter Hall, a.k.a. the Hawkman. Um, this particular minifigure um, was available in the Dark Side attack set. And he also comes with an alternate set of wings, so you can see them in a folded position. There's his face underneath the mask with the alternate wings. He has the chin strap, so it's not a particularly useful face, but a good minifigure nonetheless. I love how detailed his chest uh, or his torso is. Here is Green Arrow, or the Oliver Queen. This is uh, the new 52 version of him, but still an excellent minifigure. He isn't a founding member, but like Hawkman, he is one of the original Justice League characters. This is a better look at his back with his alternate expression. It's too bad that his quiver with arrows gets covered up by his hood. Here is Cyborg, a member of both the Teen Titans and the Justice League. In the New 52 is where he first became a Justice League, or major Justice League member, I should say. He was a member before, but in the New 52, he is a founding member instead of Martian Manhunter. There's a quick shot at his alternate expression. If you remove his helmet, you can see that there's just a plain minifigure head underneath, so very useful. This is Supergirl, uh, Superman's cousin, who is technically both older and younger than him because she was trapped in time, but she did escape Krypton at the same time that he did. Here's a look at her back printing as well as her alternate expression which shows her heat vision. Here is Plastic Man, uh, another really underrated character, but this one was available at GameStop I believe as a giveaway for pre-ordering. One of the Lego Batman games, I, I believe it was the third one. This is John Stewart Green Lantern. Uh, this is actually DC's first uh, black superhero. 
and uh, he was a good one. This uh, this is one of my favorite minifigures in this collection. Um, he is only available in the DC Build Your Own Adventure book. This is a look at his alternate expression, both good faces. Overall, I absolutely love these minifigures because the Justice League is my favorite uh, comic book superhero team of all time. I'm a big DC guy and um, you know all these figures are great. I hope we get more. I cannot wait for some of the new mini uh, Justice League minifigures we'll get in the Lego Batman uh, you know the new wave that comes in January I believe. We should be getting a new Black Canary and like Black Vulcan and a, a few others and I'll definitely add them to my collection. Hopefully we'll have a, an update in a year or two with much bigger collection. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a like, please comment below, and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. You know, let me know what you guys enjoy and I'll do more of them. Thanks guys. Bye.